Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at three new knives from CRKT. Um, I had an opportunity to check them out um, a couple weeks ago at SHOT Show in Las Vegas, and um, I want to go ahead and show them to you guys, but I will also be comparing them to three existing knives from CRKT that I feel are either very similar, um, pretty much exactly the same, um, or somewhat along the same lines, so you guys can make some comparisons if you already own the existing ones, if you wanna go ahead and purchase the new ones. So these are the three boxes here. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, the one right here. I'll set these other two off to the side. Um, this one right here, uh, I was pretty surprised at the box because I'm used to the smaller boxes for this, but this is the new Minimalist. You guys are familiar with the Minimalist line. Uh, it's a great line from um, Alan Foltz, uh, and and they're kind of designed more to be neck knives or smaller carry fixed blade knives. But um, one thing that I always wish is that they would make it a little bit larger. Um, I love the, you know, the uh, handle on the Minimalist with those finger grooves, but I always wish for a little bit larger blade and that's exactly what we got from here. This one is the Minimalist Katana. So again, if you guys are familiar with the Minimalist line, um, every new, uh, design of it comes out with a new blade shape. So this is the new blade shape. As always, it does come with the um, knife inside of the sheath there. And then you also get a um, belt clip as well. So we'll set that off to the side and we'll take a look at the knife. The sheath is exactly the same as the um, previous minimalist models. So um, it's the same uh, type of sheath, same type of material, which is uh, just like a thermoplastic material, very, very lightweight. It does come with a um, little bit of cordage here and a little slider here to um, to be able to adjust it. So if you wanna wear it as a neck knife, you can. But if you guys see it here in my hand, it is obviously a little bit bigger than um, its predecessor models because it has a larger blade shape. You still have the same handle with the finger grooves and then the little lanyard at the bottom here that does add a little bit more grip because it is a smaller handle. So um, pushing off. Here is the blade itself. Again, this is the Katana model, and I think they did a really, really awesome job with this guy. Obviously, larger size blade. Um, it now can double as, uh, you know, if you needed to use it as a self-defense weapon, you could because of the um, shape and size of the blade, in my opinion. Blade length is 3.56 inches, so a little bit over three and a half inches. So again, very, very useful, especially for EDC tasks as well. Um, you know, this is, will be able to perform very nicely. Um, as far as the, it is obviously a plain edge. You do have, um, and a couple different grinds on here, which is really nice. And then you have that really aggressive upswept here and it ends in a very, very sharp point there. Uh, blade steel is still um, 8CR13 MOB and it is a bead blasted blade. So again, it's not gonna be reflective or anything like that. Really, really nice. You do get a little bit of jimping right there in the thumb ramp, which locks your thumb right in there. And then obviously those finger grooves on the handle definitely lock your hand onto the blade itself, or I'm sorry, to the handle itself, and it makes it really, really um, comfortable to use and to hold. Overall length on this is gonna be 6.63 inches, and then um, the weight is gonna be 2.4 ounces. So again, very, very lightweight, um, very easy to carry. As I mentioned, if you did wanna carry it as a neck knife, you do still have that option. It is gonna be a little bit longer than some of its um, previous models, but it's still gonna be able to be used as a neck knife, but you do have the, um, uh, the belt uh, attachment if you wanna go ahead and use it on the belt. So as I mentioned, I wanna go ahead and roll in a previous model of this. And it is right here. This is the last year's minimalist model, which is the Persian. So I really like this blade, um, even though I'm not too much of a Persian style blade um, user. Um, I just, you know, obviously minimalist does a great job at um, when they come out with the different blade shapes. But I just wanted to put them side by side here so you guys can see the comparison as far as the size goes from the Katana to the Persian. Again, um, same size handles there. So um, the finger grooves and everything, they're gonna be the same size. The main difference is obviously the blade shape and um, this one, obviously it's a little bit longer. So in my opinion, a little bit more user, um, you know, again, with this uh, kind of flat portion right here, if you needed to do any type of um, intricate cutting or anything like that, and then you have the upswept for slicing and then the very, 
um, aggressive tip there for piercing. So really, really awesome new offering from CRKT for 2022, and that is the Minimalist Katana. All right, so let's put these guys off to the side, and we'll take a look at the next one here. Let's see, get this off camera view. There it is, all right. So the next model is going to be um, another one of these bigger boxes here, and this is the CRKT Spec. S-P-E-C. Spec actually stands for Small Pocket Everyday Cleaver. So as you open it up, pretty much a very similar presentation. You have the knife, with the, the knife with the sheath, and then you have the belt clip right there. Set that off to the side. And then let's take a look at the knife. Again, same sheath as the Minimalist. So it's that uh, thermoplastic sheath, um, very lightweight, um, you know, just thin enough. Uh, to be able to just house the blade in there, you do have the cordage there with a the little slider there and then the knife itself. So as we bring it out, as you guys can see, and again, based on the name, it is a cleaver style blade. Really, really cool. I like the fact that they did the little hole right up there and you have this uh, kind of upsweep right here, uh, more for aesthetic purposes. But you do have a longer blade here, which it makes it a lot more usable. Uh, blade length is 2.44 inches, so almost two and a half inches. So again, uh, for small little tasks, you can go ahead and use that very nicely. This will be really good for um, whittling or if you're doing like feather sticks or something like that. Um, really, really easy to control this blade. And because it's so flat, again, it is a cleaver blade, um, you know, you get a lot of blade to be able to use there. So you can either um, call up on the front right here or on the back there, depending on what it is that you need. Again, it is a plain blade, 8CR13MOV, uh, bead blasted as well, so it's not gonna be reflective. But what I like um, is that they went with this different type of handle here, so you don't have the, um, the aggressive finger grooves that you have on something like the Minimalist that we just looked at. Um, it is a nice contoured G10 handle, so you have these um, raised areas that give you a lot of grip. And then you still have the lanyard right back there, which makes it really comfortable to hold in the hands if you needed to do so. The overall length of this is 5.63 inches, and it's coming in at 2.1 ounces. So again, very, very lightweight. Uh, obviously, you can still use it as a neck knife because of the lanyard here, and it is very, very thin, um, easy to carry. But if you want to throw on that belt clip attachment, you can go ahead and do that and you'll be good to go. So again, this is the spec, the small pocket everyday cleaver. And if you wanted to carry a cleaver style knife, um, I don't think you can go wrong with this one here. So I mentioned, I'll go ahead and roll in something similar to it. And that is another minimalist here. This is the minimalist cleaver, which obviously you guys, as you guys can see right off the bat, it looks very, very similar to this one. Obviously the main difference is the side, the size of the blade itself and then the handle. So the handle on the spec is gonna be a little bit longer. You're not gonna get those finger grooves, but again, it's very, very comfortable, but you will get a longer blade. So if you really like the cleaver style of the minimalist here, but you just wish you had a, a slightly longer blade, and it's actually a lot, uh, a little bit taller also, the spec is um, right up your alley. Uh, obviously, both designed by Alan Foltz, so you can see the inspiration on both of those, and I think you really cannot go wrong in either one. But if you wanted something a little bit bigger, um, maybe for different tasks and stuff like that, then the spec is uh, the way to go. If you want something smaller, easier to conceal, but you still like that cleaver blade, then the minimalist it would be my choice. So there it is, they snap in there very nicely and you're good to go. So again, that is the spec, new model for 2022. And then last but not least is this one here and obviously a smaller box here. So this one is, there's a, the CEO. So if you guys are familiar with CRKT, you know that they have a CEO model, which is a nice compact design from Richard Rogers. Uh, it's very easy to carry, uh, very minimalistic. It's, uh, it's like a gentleman's carry knife. Well, this one here pushes it a little bit further in ease of carry, and that is because this is the CEO compact. So this is a very compact offering um, in the CEO line. So you still get a really nice thin form design. 
It is the flipper style CEO, which is nice. And then you have that really aggressive tip on the blade there, which is cool also. So the blade length on this guy is 2.61 inches. Again, plain edge. Um, this one is a satin finish, so it's going to be a little bit shinier, but it kind of goes along with the look of the um, of the knife itself. So this is a GRN, uh, so or a glass reinforced nylon handle. And the overall length on this is 6.13 inches with uh, a weight of 1.6 ounces. So again, very, very lightweight. Very small here in my hand, as you guys can see, but I can get a full four finger uh, grip on that. Um, again, this is not designed to be used very aggressively. This is something that um, you can use, uh, again, as a gentleman's carry. Uh, because of this deep right pocket clip, it disappears into the pocket. But also, if you have it on a shirt pocket, it almost looks like a pen, especially this one because it's such a smaller length on the, um, on the body of the knife there that you can easily put this into a pocket and it's just gonna you know, be confused for a pen. So you do have your flipper tab right there, and that's how you would uh, go ahead and deploy the blade. And um, again, because it is a flipper tab, it can be you know used left or right-handed. But the um, you know the knife itself is very very comfortable. I like this kind of grayish color that they went with also, as opposed to the you know the black ones that they had, the black color of the regular CEO flipper. Uh, even though that's a nice one, but um, it's a little bit smoother also. So again, getting it in and out of the pocket is really nice. And then you do have your liner lock right in there. One thing is, I almost wish that they would have kind of kind of shaved back just a little bit right here uh, on the handle to be able to um, to get into that, um, to disengage the lock a little bit easier because you do kind of have to stick your thumb in there to do that. But, you know, it's not too too bad. Uh, you only do it once in a while. One thing about this knife that I know in comparison to the bigger brother is that it is just, you know, a flipper. It's 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 a fidgeter, sorry. It's, it's a fidget. Uh, you can sit here and fidget all day with this. I actually have the bigger one next to my computer desk and um, that's pretty much why I'm looking at videos, editing, uploading, things like that. That's what I'm doing all day. So uh, again, by way of comparison, I will bring up, bring in the Bigger Brother. So this is the um, regular size uh, CEO flipper. Again, very, very similar in looks, feel, and design. Same pocket clip and everything. It's just obviously a smaller size um, handle and blade. So in comparison with it open, so you guys can see the difference. I'll line up the, the blades there. And obviously a little bit shorter blade, shorter handle. So again, depending on um, you know what you want, what uh, type of carry you want to do, you can choose one or the other or actually have them both. You know, you can have this for a nice um, shirt carry and then something like this to you know just have like in your pocket, in your pants pocket or jeans pocket or something like that, and you're good to go. So again, this is the CEO compact new for CRKT in uh, 2022. So a quick recap on the models that we saw is the, I'll bring this one in as well. And then this one here. So you have your minimalist katana and the spec and then the CEO compact. Again, three new models uh, for CRKT for 2022. Uh, just a quick look at all of them. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.